YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I just want to take a quick second to thank all my subscribers. Yes, all 10 of my subscribers. A huge thank you for joining me on uh, my journey, my first few videos. Um, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the journey as um, I've got lots of cool content planned. Um, but today I want to be talking about uh, aroma chemicals and um, I'm going to read some of them out to you so that, I don't know, when you're, uh, when you're, you know, smelling fragrances in department stores or come across a fragrance that you like, you might be able to detect these notes. Um, and that's part of the fun of uh, scent making or scent decoding. Um, I've got some here that I'm going to run through with you. Um, the first, I'm going to just run through the first four. Um, I'm going in alphabetical order because, you know, I'm so organised that way. Um, and I've just chosen these few for now because they're kind of more of the ones that I'm interested in right now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be creating yet, but I think it's, you know, it's really important to know um, the ingredients and uh, the scent behind each ingredient. Um, so this is the fun bit. So the first one I'm going to take you through is something called Ambrette. Now I've diluted this down so that, um, you know, it's, it's diluted in alcohol and uh, I made this up yesterday. Um, and I can tell you straight away that it's sort of a, a real florally liquidy scent. I don't know why I keep on saying liquidy, but it's very floral. It's got like a vintage feel. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it has like a vintage floor, but not too floral. I wouldn't even say it's sweet. It's just quite fresh, quite sparkly, quite youthful i would say so um you know as a sort of single material compound i would i would you know describe this scent sort of imagery in my mind would be more of a young girl maybe you know um the time of year would be somewhere in the spring um and she would probably be somewhere from, you know, 1930s, 1940s, that type of vintage sort of uh, imagery. Um, you know, if you think about year, you think about, uh, you know, the clothing and things like that. So it's really lovely. So this is Ambrette. The next one, um, oh, it's sort of not written very well. Let me see if I can get this on my laptop. It's not that it's not written very well. It's, um, it's been leaked, so I can't really read what it is. Aha. Uh -huh. So this one is called Affirmate. And again, it's been diluted in alcohol, perfume as alcohol. Now, this one was a blind buy. I didn't really know what this one would smell like, but basically the description says that it's a seashore element with damp herbal pine elements in it. Um, so reminiscence of English beach and rock pools. And um, yeah, it's very, you know, I, from that description, I would have thought that this would be more fresh but it's really not, it's quite, um, it's almost got like a chlorine kind of um, scent to it, really. Like like the smell of swimming pool, but a more exotic, like you wouldn't want to smell like a swimming pool, but that's kind of what it smells like. It's got like a, but in the nicest way, like a sort of chlorine bleach scent, um, but more of a herbaceous, um element to it and and it's really lovely um but you know from that description i would have thought it would be fresh but it really isn't but yeah damp is actually a good word for it it does smell quite damp it is herbaceous 
it does smell like rocks yeah it really does smell like rocks like you know when you're at uh, Brighton Beach for example and you dig up those rocks from the shore and you sort of you know smell it that's kind of the scent imagery that I'm conjuring up here or that is conjuring up in my mind and it's really lovely really really nice it's not fresh it's more damp and more um, sort of like element like uh, like a, a wet element to it but really lovely um, again I'm not sure how I'm going to use these yet but I kind of just want to get an understanding of the the um, the scent description and sort of so that I could build a category of scent memory um, because you know the the way and and I'll share this with you as I go but the way that I usually build a fragrance is from knowing what's in my scent memory for example say orange and um, you know watermelon for example you know what those smell like so you don't need to smell them so it's a little bit like that once you build a fragrance category inside your mind you kind of don't need to you know sit and um, smell all the different elements because you kind of already have it so from there you sort of you know create an imagery of what you want it to you want it to smell like and it's a little bit like painting you know you use blues for the sky you use uh, brown for sand dunes and it's all about painting this imagery with scent if that makes any sense at all if that makes any sense at all um, but yeah so that was a really lovely one so the next one is called cumarin now I was really excited to smell this one because cumarin like from the description it's like something edible and gourmand and I'm a huge fan I'm a huge huge fan at the moment I don't know why maybe it's because it's really cold outside I'm a huge fan of gourmand so this cumarin scent is described as a gourmand scent um, and uh, gourmand just means something edible like caramel or um, ice cream or vanilla or you know something really um, like chocolate something edible and I love those type of scent so this one is called cumarin and it's described as a sweet amber like musk and breath synthetic uh, compound it's a fixative so it's rich and sweet and resinous and adds a deep a deep and adds a deep depth to any perfume I can't read um but yeah I let me just yeah again it's really um what can I describe this as? It's more. It's very, it's very musky. Actually, it's really musky. It reminds me of um, some of the ones that I got down this end, actually, which is more a musky um, tone. It is definitely rich. It's got like a syrup-like texture to it. It's very like sugar syrup type um you know like velocity to it if that makes sense and yeah like sugary it's sweet it's rich it's floral but it's still quite light it's got quite a light element to it again really really beautiful and i love gourmand and um i do want to be working on something gourmand something edible and sweet and rich and just very um yeah it just makes you want to eat it but hopefully no one will eat it but you know what i mean like really just yeah just delicious smelling okay so the last one that i'm going to share with you today is something that i'm going to find really hard to first of all read and then pronounce but i believe this one is is called because it leaked in my bag and basically I can't read my handwriting um, this is um, ethyl malto so these came as crystals 
um, originally um, in the you know original packaging and this has been diluted in 10% perfumers alcohol and I'm so excited about this because it smells like candy floss and honestly like the first thing that I open up is like sweet 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 pink candy floss and it is so gorgeous it takes me back to those you know um fun fairs that i used to visit as a kid and i would um get a huge like what do you call it a huge stick full of candy floss and they were pink and probably terrible for you but delicious and terrible for you but delicious and that's exactly what this is and it's so alike the candy floss scent it's literally candy floss in a bottle and I'm so so excited um, about what I'm gonna make with these so I'm gonna keep you posted um, and that's all I'm gonna be taking you through for this particular one make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification as well so guys I hope you've enjoyed um, those four aroma chemical compounds and um, maybe you should try uh, smelling smell testing the next uh, time you smell something to see whether you can detect them. Um, but if you love this video, please uh, join me again next week. Every Tuesday, I'm going to try and uh, upload a new video for you guys. Um, so yeah, make sure you tune in and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification as well. See you again. Bye.